vampires and zombies. It's amazing, I know, I don't know. During recessions, I think the zombies do come out. They're showing a Halloween episode in November. Stephen Hawking's universe. Dad, the library, there's no television now. How many times, darling? The library is just your imagination. She's the one who came up with all this stuff. <gasps> I'm, I'm sorry, did you say she? Yeah, God's a woman. Humbly, waiting for our God's inevitable return. You know, we've met these gods upon whom you're so hot. And trust me when I tell you, they're not what you think they are. They will reward your worship with enslavement. You are not the first to try to sway our beliefs, but I can assure you, our faith is unshakable. This is not about faith. This is about a means to power. I gotta go. Can you believe the way Jesus is treating me? I thought he was my friend. Love. Fame and success do. A lot of things are going to occur, and also they're monitoring us, trying to help us. So we uh, have some chance to wake up. That's the ground crew people. So they're sending us messages through crop circles? Or? Well, yeah, through crop circles, through the, and through the handbook. The handbook is written by extraterrestrials, totally written by them. In order to, they said they'll give us information, they're not going to do it for us. Uh -huh. There's nobody come down and save us. We're going to have to save ourselves. Yeah, there is no savior. Yeah. The savior is man himself. That's right. The victim. You know what Christ said? What I do, you can do and greater. He That's also right. said, what you sow, you shall reap. Didn't he say that? Correct. He said, where's the temple of God located? Within. That's back to you. Once he came, they killed him. He will... They I didn't mean, kill him. I mean, they tried him. Yeah, you know, uh, that's another one of the lies. They crucified him up there, but they, a lot of people got crucified and didn't die. Yeah, this experiment um, is really designed uh, to show how the dog's minds were working. That it was curiosity that killed the dog. Mm. Please come back! I'm a god to you! Worship me! Or fear my wrath! We all get stuck in our belief systems, however sensible we think they are. That's great, you can just stay like that for a while while I show you what this is. I'm going to show you something involving this, which is a doll. But the thing about uh, this doll is that it, it, it doesn't, as it is, it doesn't have a soul, so we need to give it a soul for this to work, and that's what I'm going to do now, by taking this, Are you happy if I use your ring for a second? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent, so now that's sort of go floppy down there, that's great, thank you. And the ring goes into the center here, and this makes it a soul for the doll. Just like that, now it has a soul, and your soul if you like. Stay there for a second, Paul. See, I just think it's interesting for me that we tend to believe what makes us feel good. If we decide that something is nice or makes us feel nice, then we decide that it's true. Which, you know, you could argue devalues the idea of truth terribly. Can you feel anything at the moment? What are you aware of? My legs feel really heavy. Can you move them? Can you move your feet? I'm trying. <laughs> you can't move them. You can move your arms, yes? Yeah. Just flap your arms a bit for me. Just do that. Thank you. Just so you can see you can move them for a moment. And then watch. See, for me, it's all about questioning, I think, and not taking things at face value. Like, at the moment, you can't speak, but the only reason why you can't speak is that you believe that you can't speak because of what I'm telling you. And the interesting thing is that if I tell you you can speak, all that does is give you permission to question that belief, and then you find that you can speak. Can't you? Yeah? Yeah. 
because what we believe isn't necessarily real. At any level, I mean, this certainly isn't. It's not even a real voodoo doll. You know, and even the real voodoo dolls we used uh, for healing, not for not for putting curses on people. But what I did, I got you to invest in that belief, and one of the ways I got you to do that was by investing something of yourself in it, like your ring. Whereas in fact, there's nothing in there. There is no ring in there. I didn't put your ring in there. Yeah, your ring's still on your hand. About how vaccinations filled with mercury and other brain damaging compounds would induce partial chemical lobotomies and develop a servile zombie population. You know exactly how to play me. You can't kill the undead, silly. He's undead, all right. Are you a zombie? That's Homer Simpson's computer. Oh, God, it's spreading! Hey, you! What? Oh, no, it's happening. Tonight's experiment is about de-individuation, which is what happens when people become anonymous members of a crowd, which allows them to behave in a way that goes against their moral code. That I can be easily led, certainly, if there's a big enough group of people. Blew up a commuter train. Well, when was I supposed to call the cops? Well, I don't know, maybe when she started worshipping the big destructo god in the sky, maybe? Um, we, we didn't know, there weren't, there weren't any signs. You said I see a lot of young people. Growing up in a virtual world. I feel like a mindless zombie. Oh no, the life. I guess I'm off to hell. Jesus Christ, and I have been reborn. Did no one ever tell you that stealing is a sin? Who are you? I'm Jesus Christ. Yeah? Well, I need to score. I need to score getting brought. I don't think so. serious repenting. If you wish to enter the kingdom of heaven, you must give generously so that we can spread the word of our Lord. Is that really the best you can do? I'll break it down for you. Do you want to go to heaven? Hmm? Or do you want to burn in hell for all eternity? Hmm. That's all they had to give. If they won't give willingly, you take it from them. You said robbing people was wrong. Now you're doing it for God. It's okay. But the boy who robbed the bar, he was there, and I think the Jesus guy put him up to it. Where are you going? I'm gonna kill Jesus. You can't go around pretending to be Jesus. What's God gonna say? You haven't even got a beard. Hey, I gave my life to him. I went without money and sex. What a joke. I preached and prayed and no one gave a shit. You do a few miracles, everyone thinks you're the Messiah. Just 
in case it really is Jesus. <laughs> Our Lord has sacrificed himself again. It's not Jesus, she's just a dickhead with a few superpowers. Superpowers? Do you really expect me to believe that? We're going to kill all of them. Gods cannot be gods without those who stand beneath them gazing upwards. I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Any suggestions? Yes. I don't understand. If this is all a projection in Olivia's mind, why is everything turning against us? No! I'm not afraid of you. Should have been safe inside your mind. I think Bell gave me a message. He said, Tell Walter that I knew the dog wouldn't hunt. Inspiring others to find their voices. None of us is born to hate. We're taught to. Preparing with candles and batteries and has no life outside your immediate physical self. I think you're missing something. I think you're living in a delusional world. And I think I'm living in a real world, and you and I are going to disagree on that. But right now, I would like to say that people should act like atheists when it comes to a natural disaster. Prepare, prepare, prepare. Okay? Do whatever you can. Come up with a plan. Come up with a backup plan. Act like atheists. Act like there's no God. This patent application for a robot dog could use a bit more tinkering. <laughs> You undead little Here in a calmer corner of its mind, O2 has been thinking about simplicity. Meet Jeff. What do aliens have to do with Halloween? So Tonight's experiment is about how easily we can be manipulated. Can an innocent person be persuaded to confess to a murder that he hasn't committed? We all fall prey to unnecessary guilt. Guilt has been used as a tool to manipulate us throughout history. The church has encouraged all manner of damaging guilt around the notion of sex. Because the whole thing was staged, was acted. It was an experiment about how we can be manipulated by guilt. And whether you would confess, whether you would hand yourself in for murder that you didn't commit. Everybody in that house was an actor. <laughs> no! There's no student futures. It was just made up. <laughs> These aren't real police. We couldn't film here, we couldn't take a camera here. This isn't even a real police station. <sighs> Look, it's not even a real building. It's made of paper. Oh my god. <laughs> 